25 years ago, the fate of the MQ-9 Reaper was hanging in the balance. General Atomics developed it without an advanced order and using their own cash. It was risky from a business perspective. But then, all of a sudden, the September 11th terrorist attack convinced the Pentagon that the Reaper would be indispensable in the new reality that had just dawned. During the demonstration flight in front of a commission from the Pentagon, an MQ-9 Reaper fired at a replica of bin Laden's house. Copy number one of the terrorist dwelling was built directly on the testing ground. It was a brilliant marketing ploy and a great way to convince conservative generals to make the correct decision. Now, the MQ-9 Reaper is the main reconnaissance and strike UAV of the U.S. Air Force. The CIA also uses it in its operations. This drone is also in service for Italy, Turkey, the United Arab Emirates, Kazakhstan, France, and Great Britain. More recently, information has appeared that the MQ-9 Reaper will be delivered to Ukraine, where the largest military operations since the Second World War are taking place. What does the MQ-9 Reaper actually do? And why is this drone so expensive? You're now about to find out. Let's start with the design. The MQ-9 Reaper has a normal aerodynamic configuration with an elongated small section fuselage. Noteworthy is its gigantic wingspan, 65.5 feet. On versions with the extended range, there are wingtips that improve aerodynamic performance. The length of the UAV is almost half its wingspan, 36 feet. At the rear is a V-tail and a vertical stabilizer. The MQ-9 Reaper is equipped with a 900-horsepower Honeywell TPE-331-10 turboprop engine. A push-type propeller is located in the tail section. The maximum speed of the device reaches 300 miles per hour and attains 193 miles per hour whilst cruising. So far, the MQ-9 Reaper is the fastest production drone in the world. The Honeywell TPE-33110 is a super-reliable unit that has proven itself over decades of use. For some time, the weak point of its engine design was considered to be its inefficiency. But after the introduction of an electronic engine control system, this drawback disappeared. The dimensions of the MQ-9 Reaper are, frankly, rather large. Its weight is also impressive. An empty MQ-9 Reaper weighs almost 4,900 pounds. The gross curb weight reaches 10,500 pounds. However, the MQ-9 Reaper can be packaged in a standard container and transported on C-130 Hercules aircraft. This was the case during operations in Afghanistan, Yemen, Libya, Iran. However, this drone has a phenomenal flight range, so in some cases, it is able to make its own way to base. The flight takes place both in manual and autonomous control modes. You must understand, the MQ-9 Reaper is only one part of a remotely controlled aviation system. In addition to the drone, equipped with onboard sensors and weapons, the system includes a ground control station, a communications module of the Predator primary satellite link, an operator team. The crew consists of a pilot and an electronic systems operator. The full training course for the operator and pilot takes about a year. The success of the MQ-9 Reaper lies in, first and foremost, the smooth, well-coordinated interaction of technical components with humans. The onboard satellite communications antenna is installed under the nose cone of the UAV. Thanks to a secure satellite communication channel, the operator's workplace can be located almost anywhere, not just at the home airfield. The point receiving the signal may be located many hundreds or even thousands of miles from the battlefield. That is, you can control the drone somewhere over Ukraine directly from the Pentagon or from the territory of any American airbase. This has been the case in delicate operations to eliminate the leaders of terrorist organizations. The most amazing thing is that the MQ-9 Reaper is able to land even on unfamiliar airfields and runways. It is enough for it to circle a couple of times over the terrain in order to orient itself and analyze the situation. This drone is assisted by artificial intelligence, which we will be discussing later on. The MQ-9 Reaper is indeed the most expensive UAV in the world. This title is not up for dispute. The cost of one combat unit at current production volume exceeds $30 million. However, its status as being the best in the world must be constantly reaffirmed. Let's begin with the combat missions that it is capable of carrying out. 
the American UAV is capable of performing tracking and surveillance missions, combat search and rescue, and supporting aircraft and artillery. For reconnaissance, an electronic station with day and night vision devices is installed on board. In addition to the usual thermal imagers, the MQ-9 Reaper has a synthetic aperture radar and a radar with a mapping function. Operators see the enemy on the ground even in cloudy weather. Built-in equipment can be supplemented with a hanging container with electronic warfare equipment. The same systems are used in shock operations. Target designation is performed by a laser rangefinder. However, data collection and fire adjustment are not all that the MQ-9 Reaper is capable of. One of its curious capabilities is to carry, drop, and operate radar buoys for anti-submarine missions. The modification for the Navy is also equipped with a special container that turns it into a naval version of the UAV. The MQ-9 Reaper is also capable of performing the role of an air communication station within the latest combat concept, Network Battle. We are talking about a tactical data exchange network between remote participants in the Battle Link 16. Depending on the combat mission being undertaken, the network may include satellites, warships, submarines, aviation, drones, artillery, infantry. To coordinate their actions at the tactical and operational level, a reliable channel for exchanging information with high throughput in real time is required. This is subtle but extremely important work, on which the outcome and course of the military operation depends. For such missions, a container with broadcasting equipment is installed on board the MQ-9 Reaper. Let's also mention artificial intelligence, which is actively used in drones of this generation. For this feature, the Agile Condor module must be included on board the MQ-9 Reaper. This is an autonomous system for automatically detecting, classifying, and tracking potential targets. Agile Condor finds targets, determines the highest priority ones, and then offers its own version of the attack order. The MQ-9 Reaper has a whopping 1,180 miles of range. The extended range version has an even greater range of 1,600 miles. That is, the MQ-9 Reaper can start from far away and operate on enemy territory a long way beyond the front lines. The flight ceiling is 49,000 feet, and the flight time reaches 27 hours for the regular version and 34 hours for the extended range version. With such flight performance, the MQ-9 Reaper is capable of performing the functions of an attack aircraft, and with air-to-air -air missiles, the drone copes well functioning as an interceptor. Note that the letter M in the name of the UAV stands for multi-purpose, which is why the price is over $30 million. Yes, when needed, the MQ-9 Reaper sows death and reaps sorrow. The greatest effect on the public popularity of the drone was garnered by its shock capabilities. The list of its weapons corresponds to most types of targets, but it is only used to destroy the most important, expensive, and classified objects. Towards that effort, the MQ-9 Reaper has six suspension points, two internal suitable for carrying 1,500 pounds, two in the middle of the wing for 595 pounds, two centilevered points suitable for 190 pounds. The UAV can carry AGM-114 Hellfire high-precision air-to-ground missiles. Each missile weighs only 110 pounds and has a combat range of 6.8 miles. But the warhead of the AGM-114 Hellfire is enough to destroy all types of armored vehicles. For a more powerful strike, the MQ-9 Reaper uses GBU-12 Paveway 2 laser-guided precision bombs, 500 pounds each. The range of this ammunition is 9.3 miles. Such a bomb can destroy enemy equipment and manpower securely hidden in shelters. The icing on the cake are the AIM-9X air-to-air missiles with a target destruction range of up to 22 miles. Such missiles are used by the fifth-generation F-22 and F-35 fighters. That is, these are certainly highly relevant weapons. The missiles got their name Sidewinder due to the homing head, which is guided during flight by the thermal silhouette of the target. Modification with Index X has improved the maneuverability thanks to the thrust vector control. The mass of the warhead is 24 pounds. This is enough to shoot down not just enemy missiles, but also aircraft. This is the most advanced Sidewinder model to date. The MQ-9 Reaper was developed by General Atomics in the late 1900s. The project was based on the developments and prior experience with the previous MQ-1 project, 
So for some time, the Reaper had as its working designation the name Predator B. The first flight of the experimental UAV took place in February 2001. The developers had not been mistaken in their strategy and are now reaping the fruits of their insight. Reconnaissance, strike, and attack UAVs are today one of the most effective means of warfare. The MQ-9 Reaper is considered to be the best drone in the world. It combines the full gamut of functions that are assigned to drones. How will the MQ-9 Reaper perform in Ukraine? The Americans successfully terminated the leaders and chiefs of Al-Qaeda, Hezbollah, and other similar organizations in territories with weak air defenses. But in Ukraine, there is a full-fledged war with a demarcated front line. Russian fighter jets are in the sky. How will drones prove themselves up against Russian-layered air defense and fighters? We should note that the tactical combat unit MQ-9 consists of several UAVs. These are rather expensive devices, so the attack aircraft of the Russian aerospace forces might become the target for American drones. Attack aircraft fly relatively low. If an MQ-9 Reaper manages to remain undetected at a higher flight level, then it will gain the advantage over the fighter. The successful use of drones could make life much easier for Ukrainian troops. We will be closely monitoring developments on this front. Stay with us so you don't miss a thing.